friends i welcome you on my youtube channel geography genius led by anshuman mishra so i hope you all have understood and enjoyed my earlier video so uh, the earlier video was karakoram region and the himalayas so i understand this video so let me explain so the himalayan mountain the himalayan ranges have been divided in three parts that is himalaya himachal and none other than uh, uh, shivalik and the purvanchal ranges so shivalik himadri and himachal so let me uh, take you to that point so actually what is that uh, himadri himachal and uh, shivalik has been set in that molds uh, have been arranged in that proper way that the highest is the himadri the it is called the greater himalayas also where the um, we can say the lesser himalayas have been called that Himal himachal is called the lesser himalayas where the shivalik is called the outermost himalayas or the most uh, smallest himalayas also so actually they have been increased uh, from the north to south they have been increased in their height wise like uh, himadri is having the high, uh, highest height so it is in uh, it is in the north where it, the middle is having himachal and the last is shivalik so let's talk about the himadri what is himadri so that himadri is we can also call them greater himalayas and they are actually in the northern part so they are consisting of the most highest peak in the world also and the consisting of the many of the mountains which are higher and they are actually permanently covered with snow so that was i was talking about in our first video of today's that uh, that brief one so the many of the videos uh, are here which actually i was talking about i have been given you and the mountains which are here so they are in the very good height and they are actually permanently covered with snow so i have been talking about the, they are greater himalayas also now if we talk about their, uh, the perfect example of the highest mountain in this Himadri region is Mount Everest. The Mount Everest is 8,848 meters. 8,848 meters is the highest mountain in the whole world. Whereas the third most highest mountain is also here. The second is here also here only in the Karakoram region. So don't be confused about that. So the highest mountain, uh, uh, the third highest mountain in the whole world is Kanchijanga mountain, which is uh, if we talk anybody talk about the most highest mountain in the whole world. Uh, in India, so we are giving the answer Kanchenjunga. So Kanchenjunga is here. So actually, the Kanchenjunga is the third most highest mountain in the whole world. So Kanchenjunga is not having perfect. Uh, we can say means every meter is increasing. So we are not having the perfect. It's varying. So we are we can't. I can't give you the perfect measurement of it. So let's start about the Himadri. What is the Himadri? So we have been finished all those three mountains, all these highest mountains. Now we will be talking about theirs two famous mountains in Uttarakhand is a Nanda Devi Nanda Devi actually a Nanda Devi mountain is the highest mountain here in Uttarakhand where the Naga Parbat is the highest mountain in Jammu and Kashmir so these two are mountain also uh, they are the part of we can say the Himadri region so everything has been finished in this part so actually one thing I want to tell you about is you are also knowing about that and the Mount Everest is on China or uh, Nepal border China Nepal border so we can call them Nepal China boundaries also all those things have been finished now now we will be talking about the Himachals. The Himachals is the we can call them the lesser uh, lesser Himalayas also. So the Himachal is also called the lesser Himalayas because it is in the middle order. So it's not having that highest mountain, that highest mountain we, we talk about. So the main things all are here is that here there are many famous tourist spots also like uh, we call about Mani, uh, Manali and uh, Dharmshala, Dharmshala, Manali, Nanital, Masuri, and there are many, many famous. Uh, Nanital also there is a many famous. Uh, actually, the tourist spots here. So we have been talking about that also. And actually, what is there that uh, there is not that much height. Uh, there is not that much uh, always covered with snow. There some uh, somewhat getting the uh, sunlight also. So the, in the middle, and you're not having the highest mountain also. So this is the only point which I'm, I need to explain you here in this thinking ranges. Now the last is the Shivalik Ranges. So what is the Shivalik Ranges? This Shivalik Ranges is actually the silt and the mud which is collected from the Himalayas, the rivers and the Himalayan mountains, the mud which is covered, the silt which is covered, that actually forms what is Shivalik. The Shivalik has been formed from that only. So this Shivalik has been formed from the silt and the mud of Himalayas and their rivers. So it, uh, it's very sure, it's very obvious that there will be a lot of landslides. Landslides is common in that areas and uh, what is that landslide that occurs because the mud is not that much is stiff like mountains the mud is not that much stiff it has been finished all those things now purvanchal ranges if we talk about purvanchal ranges is located here and you can get it in atlas also and you can understand it because that's not important so i can explain you it's not having that so actually there is a uh, i have 
there are some more points in Shivalik. That at Shivalik is actually, if we talk about, there is a narrow hills. The narrow hills are called dooms. They are locally called dooms. We are not calling, we are calling only what? Narrow valleys. So that narrow valleys, they are locally called what? Dooms. So one famous example is Dehradun. Dehradun, you will listen if you read a name Dehradun, there is a doom after that. So actually this doom have been taken. There is a narrow valley in Dehradun. It's why, that is why it's called uh, Dehradun. So it has been all those things and uh, Purvanchal Rangers is here of, co of course and uh, the perfect example is Cherapunji Falls, uh, the falls which is in Cherapunji. So the perfect example because it is a silt covered uh, area, more silt. Now the southern, uh, now if we talk about uh, Shivalik, Shivalik is the most southernmost. So don't be confused in that, southernmost Himalayan part and it is in the south part of the Himalayas, Himalayan ranges. So I hope you all have uh, enjoyed and understood the topics which I have been explaining you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please watch my all the videos, like, comment, share and view also. And don't forget to subscribe. And uh, remember, all there are five parts. So I have been explaining just the one first part. Now tomorrow we will be explaining about the next part. The next part is the northern plain. And after that there will be a peninsula plateaus and the next will be none other than the the coastal plain and then the islands so we'll be explaining all those things in more belief and like we have been called for northern mountains uh, all those things uh, we are very belief in this so i hope you all have uh, understood something and if you have not understood anything please 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 write in the comment section and if you have uh, till yet i have not found any uh, any comment that you have not understood any topic so i hope you uh, I hope I can understand that uh, you all have understood properly. So if you have not understood properly, we will be giving a video properly. If you have the one who has given the comment, of, I'll make the video on that also. So please, please, please like, comment, view, share and subscribe. And do not forget to comment because comment is very important.